when I came to interview for the position of artistic director here, while I was waiting, there was one of the company's dance for Parkinson's classes was going on and I joined in. And I think since that moment, I've felt very connected to the work that's happening with Dance for Parkinson's. It's a partnership that we at National Dance Company Wales do with English National Ballet. It's been important to think about how creativity is at the heart of everything we do, not just the work that we put on stages and do with professional dancers, but in all our participation work. Because all kinds of people can move. They move in different ways, they bring different knowledge, different kinds of bodies and experiences. But for me, creativity is a way to kind of help that be visible, to show how dance could be different. The Dance of Parkinson's is specifically a dance class for people with Parkinson's, but also their family and friends can come along and join in. So it's really a social activity. I mean, feel and go out feeling really, I think I've, I've grow an inch. Not only do you see other people with Parkinson's, we all laugh. And it's wonderful to know that you can laugh, although you've got this terrible illness. It's, you want to go on, you, life hasn't finished. I came along with Wendy, not as Martin saying, oh, I'm taking her to this place, taking her there. I came along as well, because I enjoy it so much. I had so many nice people. It's nice to be able to come and support the family and friends that we have who have Parkinson's. And it's joy on their faces, honestly. By the end of the lesson, they're just different people. They're chatting and dancing and moving. It's amazing, I can see the difference. See it in their eyes as well. It shows you that, yes, you can do things. You can go out. You can go to the shops, which I enjoy which before I came here, I was reluctant to go anywhere. Before we started doing this, I think I was sort of almost ashamed of what I got. But now, um, because we see so many people in the same boat, we take it all as sort of, well, not normal, but, you know, it's, it's much, much easier to cope with. You can forget yourself for a whole hour and a half and it's just fun, really lovely. You, you forget the condition, you forget the situation you're in and just react to what is happening now. And that's wonderful, because that's what it's all about, isn't it, really? You're living for the moment. And it's just amazing. Psychologically, tremendous, yeah. When I will miss many things, you know, physio appointments or whatever, but she will <laughs> never miss D for me. Yeah. <laughs> I think I've only missed one in four years. Four years, yeah. Yeah, I just love mm. it so much. This year, in our repertoire in the spring tour that we've just finished, there's been a piece called After Image by a choreographer called Fernando Mello. It's a piece that uses wonderful illusion. It's a sort of magic trick, and it means that dancers appear and disappear throughout the piece. And it's very evocative. When I saw it, I thought it would be wonderful material to work with the dancers who are in our Dance for Parkinson's classes. And so this term, I've been working with Yvette and Helen, who lead the classes, to introduce that kind of creative aspect to work with them. The idea that there are so many layers that you can put into After Image. There are so many different ways you can look at it. And that's what we've been able to do with our participants to sort of create different ideas and let them get really creative, which they've done beautifully. In a piece like After Image, when Fernando makes it with the dancers in the company, it's really carefully rehearsed. For us working with this Dance for Parkinson's group, it's also very specific, but what's specific is the individuals who are coming to be involved in these classes and involved in this piece that we're making. 
it's been important to build a choreography and a way of working that could look after and respect and cherish the individuality of all of the different people that are participating. And that means on their good days and on the days that are not so easy for them. And that means we need to have a kind of choreography that's flexible enough, supportive enough to make it possible for them to look great no matter who's able to show up. I'm very pleased that we've had the opportunity to be able to pull together all of the resources of the team at National Dance Company Wales and all of the other people supporting it to make this lovely film happen.